Hey guys, Old Beater Cars here. Uh, today I'm going to post up a little video here of um, a compressor that um, I just finished rebuilding. Um, I know Dr. Cranky is talking about airbrushes and that kind of stuff, and I figure I'd add my two cents in about air compressors. Um, I, I think most of you guys are going to love this video. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm just going to edit, do a little bit of editing here and I'll show what I'm up to. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, uh, the compressor um, uh, video here. Uh, today here I have two compressors. Uh, this little blue one here is uh, oilless. A uh, great little compressor, good price for it. You can, I don't know, you can probably pick them up pretty cheap at your local hardware store. This one's a Campbell, as you can tell, but it's freaking noisy. Just, it just drives me bananas when I run it. And this one here cost me nothing. One big fat zero. Um, one day it was at a yard sale and uh, I seen this old tank and uh, the old, old compressor and I asked the guy how much he wanted for it and he says, well, just if you want it, you have it. So it had everything. Had all the gauges and, you know, all the wiring on it, so all that kind of stuff. So I had no compressor engine for it. So I was watching some videos one day on uh, YouTube, and um, I seen guys who are using these uh, engines that come out of refrigerators and freezers. I mean, I mean <laughs> this is the cat's ass, man. Cheap, 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 cheap. Uh, you want some reference? Just look at um, refrigerator compressors. <clears throat> Go on YouTube, search that, you can find that. But yeah, this is just cheap. I mean, you don't need to have um, a tank. You just should run this if you want. But better have a tank that we can regulate your pressure. And also, I mean, storage, you know, air storage. So, <clears throat> you know, I just wired it. Very simple, two wires. It doesn't matter which way you hook them up. See this? It's that kind of way, so I just you know I hooked it up to the main main wiring here, and just <clears throat> just used it. I just use it all the time, and uh, works awesome, nice and quiet. So I mean, it's very simple, very very simple to hook up. <clears throat> and you have your main Uzi at. Um, Depends on how it is, how you this uh, the compressor is hooked up. You have one here that's uh, one line that's blocked off from factory. You don't touch that. Leave it alone. And you have one that puts out air, and one's an intake. Here I just have a little breather I made with a piece of uh, uh, Kleenex on it, just for uh, you know dust and that kind of stuff. So, geez, look at that. So it's good enough. And this one here is. Um, this one's quite heavy. Hold on a minute. Oops. So it's hooked up this way. You know, that it, um, the hose. I had to cut the original line off here. There's the intake. And I just cut it off, put a couple hose clamps on there. And it's all sealed. And this one here has another line on it that goes to the main regulator. I left that, I just put a hose on there. It works, it doesn't leak at all, so it works good. So, um, yeah, so it's a um, little compressor, you know, almost free, and it works awesome. I mean, <clears throat> I've had up to 30 PSI, no problem. So, works good. I suppose this one here, you know, you're gonna pay anywhere from 35 to you know maybe sixty nine dollars for that one right there you know <clears throat> and it's noisy you know wake up the neighbors or whatever you're you know if you live in a apartment <clears throat> or or if you have family you can't operate this thing it's too too loud so oilless not so good too noisy so if you want quiet quiet and cheap you can build one like this and I mean, even if your compressor dies, 
you get one <laughs> at your you go to the dump and you probably find one get one for free if it's still in there or you can old freezer someone's giving away it still runs pull the compressor off so yeah this is cheap so a uh, great little compressor for airbrushing that's what I use now and this one here eventually I'm going to convert to uh, the same kind of compressor this one here so I have two of them one for one thing one for another thing right so yeah well thanks for viewing my video uh, of the compressors and uh, if you have any questions uh, please feel free to uh, message me back uh, or comment whatever personal message so yep thanks for viewing bye for now hi there thanks for viewing my video on my compressors um, I just wanted to say I just wanted to comment um, you don't have to uh, build a compressor like I have built here I mean, you can buy anything you want uh, it's just something I built it's cheap it runs awesome I mean uh, you buy what you like uh, I don't want to mock I'm not, um, I'm not mocking anybody with their uh, fancy compressors you buy what you like uh, I'm just one guy and you know just I like to tinker and I like to build my own stuff and uh, you know having a little compressor like this is uh, you know it's it's great um, you know um, like Dr. Cranky was saying that um, you know some of these little cheaper airbrushes do a great job and I thought well you know uh, why not build a cheap air compressor you work on a budget uh, you want to get into airbrushing, you buy an inexpensive airbrush, you build yourself a little compressor, and you're set. I mean, you'll have this set up for years and years and years. And as you get better, you can always upgrade to new air comp something real nice air compressor, or update your airbrush, whatever you like. Um, but if we're going to a budget, you know, try this out. It's not going to cost anything, provide you the tank and stuff like that for free or whatever dirt cheap, a yard sale or something. It works. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to add that. Uh, I didn't want to get it on anybody's case or start anything bad. So, uh, thanks for viewing my video. Come back again.